Okay, so we are on to a lesson for second graders, and this is the rainforest bird lesson. So here's Mr. Grumman. Hi, everybody. Hope everybody's well. So we'll get into this lesson. Um, this is about rainforest birds. So I'm going to get this paper centered here. And we're going to start out by drawing a rainforest bird, which would be a toucan. And rainforests are found near the equator. And they get a lot of rain, about 100 inches or more a year. And they're um, warm or hot all year round. And so lots of vegetation live in rainforests. And so do some lots of animals and insects. And we've got rainforest birds like parrots and toucans. So we're going to draw a toucan. So we're going to start, let's see here, it looks like we're upside down. So we're going to start here, and we're going to, this is the top, and then this is the side, and this is the bottom. And we're going to start with something that looks like the letter C. So we're going to start from in the top, in the middle, and we're going to connect a letter C that goes near the edge of the paper on this side and down around to the bottom like this. So that's a letter C. Now we're going to, on, on the top here, we're going to make a, a long beak or bill and so it's going to go a straight line down or up depending on where you're going to draw it and then this on the bottom of this line we're going to make a line that comes across and depends on how big you want this but you, pretty soon you'll probably see a beak and that's going to be the beak and the beak has two parts an upper beak and a lower beak so we're going to start right at the point of the beak and we're going to make a line that goes over and I'm not making it perfectly straight I'm making it a little bit jagged because rainforest birds like toucans they eat a lot of nuts and berries and things like that so they've got um, kind of a jagged line uh, on their beak okay so then this is the body and this is going to be where the head is so we're going to make a an eye there. So we're going to draw a circle about the size of a quarter, maybe even bigger. I'm going to draw that like that. And then inside there we're going to draw another one, and that one might be the size of a nickel or a penny. And then inside that we're going to even make another one about the size of a blueberry. And we're going to color in the two in between the two smaller circles so we have an eye perfect then at the bottom here we're going to extend this up and come over to the side of the paper so we're going to bring this line almost in a straight line but we're going to go up like that and that's going to here let me move that over that's going to be the tail end of the bird there and then, right under the beak here, we're going to make a line connecting to the tail of the bird. So that's the basic shape. So now we're going to make a big, huge wing. And that's going to be another one of these C shapes. We're going to start right here where the beak meets the body. And we're going to come around like that letter C before. And then we're going to connect that right to the tail of the bird. So we're going to aim and practice a couple times and then we're going to go ahead and make that line like that. Now I'm using a big sharpie first. You guys should use a pencil first and sketch it out. Make sure you've got it right and then you can uh, trace it with sharpie later. So now at the bottom we're going to give it some feet. So this is pretty easy. You just make a line that comes down and then you draw a letter M. Up, down, up, down. And then again we connect that. And that's one 
foot, and then we go down, up, down, up, down, and then that is connected as well. That one's a little bigger than the other one, that's okay. And then at the bottom, we're also going to put a branch going across, because this bird is going to be sitting in a tree. So we're going to make a line, and it's kind of not a perfectly straight line, because it's going to be a branch. So it's going to have a little bit of a natural look to it. It's got a little bit of a bend here and there to make it look like a branch in a rainforest. And we're going to make another line underneath it so the branch has two parts. And then this looks like it, the toes are on the branch. So I've got to kind of see that where I stopped in between each toe and then kept going on the other side. So I'll color that in probably brown later on to make it look like a tree branch. If you want to add another uh, twig off of that branch, you just add some more lines like this going off of the branch. And we can color those in later. Then we're going to add some feathers. On the top of the head, that's called a plume. So we're going to come to the top of the head here, and we're going to draw a one, two, three feathers. And again, we can color those in later. If we want to make a uh, design on them, we can make a little line that goes down the middle of each of them, and then maybe some feather lines. Don't have to be perfect with them, but and if we color those in some bright colors later on, that'll look really cool. Feather lines look like a letter Y when they come together, but you make a whole bunch of them, and it'll look like feathers. And then in the back, here coming off the tail, we're going to make some tail feathers as well. One, two. Three. And again, we could do the same thing um, if we want to make them fancy like these ones on top, on the plume. On the wing, we're going to make feathers that come in the back. Now, when you make those, it's almost like you're drawing the letter or the number three. So you're like one, two. See how that looks like a, a number three? But we're going to keep going and make that bump all the way down. And we're going to do that a few times, and this is going to look like rows of feathers on the wings. And we can color these in. We can color each section in a different color. You can do a rainbow colored wing, or any colors you choose. If you want to do a pattern, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, whatever you want to do. And then one of the last things we'll do on the bird is we'll make a, a line around the eye. So we're going to start right up here, right at, like at the forehead where, where the beak meets the head. And we're going to bring a line around the eye, outside of it, around there, and then down kind of towards the wing. And then that one will be colored in a different color than this. So we've got a lot of coloring to do now. There's the bell. And a lot of coloring to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example of a student's artwork that was completed last year. Let me, let me take a look at that. Well, another thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some leaves in here so it looks like the bird is in a rainforest. So I'm going to move this down and we're going to look for some areas that have an empty space on the paper. And here's a good one up in this corner. So we can make it a leaf that just has a shape kind of like a football shape. And again we do the same thing that we did with the feather. We, we just make some leaves. There's one coming off the paper make another one maybe that comes down next to it
And then maybe there's another one right here in this corner over here. I've got a squeaky marker. So at that point, you're going to get your Crayola markers out and you're going to start coloring in all of these areas real nice and neatly. The slower you color, the better it's going to work. If you, if you say, oh, here's what, and you color it real fast, it's not going to look as good as if you slow down and color it real neatly. If you look up toucans on Google Images or something like that, sometimes you'll see that the beaks are different colors. Sometimes they'll have black on the tip, so that'll be colored in black. And I've got a Sharpie that doesn't work very well, but you color that in real neatly. And then it might go to yellow and orange or something like that. So you can make it as artistic and colorful as you would like. Let me show you an example of Lucy's from last year. And you'll see how awesome she did with her coloring. We're having a focusing problem on this one for some reason. It's going in and out. I wish it wouldn't do that. Um, the camera is really acting up. So I'm sorry about that. But uh, she's got different, she's got a pattern here. She's got blue and turquoise on the wing. She's got like a camouflage pattern here on the body. Look at this beak. It's got lots of different colors. Reds, raspberries, oranges, yellows, even some lime greens and some blues. And she's got purple um, feathers. And then she's got, uh, you know, the nice gray feet. And she's got vines, not just leaves, but she's got vines. And then she painted the background using lots of different colors. So this is a great example of a rainforest bird. So second graders, if you're at home and you're uh, sick or you're quarantined for a while, this Rainforest Bird Project is what you should be working on. And uh, I hope to see you back really, really soon. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.